guys what is up I filmed in at home or on the golf course because that's where I did it hit an ab circuit I repeated it twice and it'll take you I can't remember how long it took me but each circuit was like five to seven minutes so nothing out of the ordinary it'll get your heart rate up it'll get your abs burning it'll get you pumped it'll make you want to go lift weights because that's what it made me want to do but I didn't because Saturdays are my my calming down days so I just throw some hit and abs in and I'm good I'm solid so we're gonna do that and I'll explain everything in the description box below as well as in the video uh, you don't need anything I had a yoga mat because the grass is dead in Arizona you can't you know nothing we can do about it everything dies here it's alive for like two minutes and that's it and then um, so all you need is something to just rest your bum on or your elbows on you're gonna do some planks and um, a jump rope but if you don't have a jump rope you can I'll explain that it's it's super easy I you don't need a jump rope you can just jump in place you know but I like having a jump rope I got it at Marshall's for five dollars you don't have to buy an expensive jump rope you can buy one at Marshall's or you can go to Walmart my sister got her jump rope at Walmart for a three dollars doesn't get much better than that. You can't even buy a salad for $3 anymore. But you can buy a jump rope. So I best be seeing everybody getting a jump rope. So, um, we're going to get into the video. I hope you guys like it. It's going to be super fun, super exciting. It's gonna, you guys are going to feel it, I promise. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And remember, everything's going to be down in the description box below. And we will get into the video. Hey guys, what is up? We're going to get into this little circuit training in just a moment. But first, before anything, we have to stretch. Because stretching prevents in injuries, not energy. <laughs> It prevents any injuries that you may be prone to so just get a light stretch in before this um, circuit and we're gonna jump right into it in just a second we're gonna start this with a 30 second jump rope after I get my jump rope untangled and we're gonna do this for 30 seconds if you do not have a jump rope that is okay you do not need one just jump in place. Just do a light jump off the ground. Um, try not to jump rope in grass. I got my jump rope stuck right there. Yep. Or patchy grass because that's all we have in Arizona. Um, just jump rope for 30 seconds and then we're going to move into an ab workout for 30 seconds, which will be a plank. I could never do planks for more than five seconds. Now, I can do them for 30 seconds, which is a miracle. So when you do a plank, keep your butt down. Mine should have been down just a little bit more. And keep your core tight. That's going to help you feel it. And you'll love it. It'll burn. And it's going to be great. We're going to do that for 30 seconds. We're going to rest for 30 seconds. And then we're going to hit our next workout with some hit cardio. <laughs> I started doing these jumping doohickey agility things at the gym and I love them. They keep my heart rate going. It's one foot out, two feet in, one foot out. Just It keeps you going, keeps your heart rate up. It's nothing crazy. I, don't, I can't do anything that involves movement like dancing. I cannot do. But if you are like me who cannot dance, you can do this, I promise. 30 seconds. Then we're gonna move right into 30 seconds of a leg lift. When you do a leg lift, keep your back on the ground. I have my hands under my back just so I know my back is close to the ground. And 
Do not let your toes hit the ground. I see very many people do this. It is not good. You want that tension. The tension is what's going to help you feel that burn in your abs. When you're done with that for 30 seconds, go ahead and take a small break. Move your jump rope out of the way. Sip on the BCAAs. I love these little guys. They're just so good. It tastes like orange juice and I just love them. I could drink them all day long. After you take your 30 second rest, go ahead and we're going to jump right into our next movement, which is going to be jumping squats. You can't really see my feet here, but we're starting with our feet together, jump up, and then our feet apart, jump up. These, uh, I like these. I move my hands like this for the explosion because I like that. I like feeling like I can jump 10 feet in into the air like a jaguar, even though I'm not close to a jaguar, I'm a human. We can all imagine though, right? <laughs> um, after we do 30 seconds of the jumping squats, we're gonna move right into, I believe these are called V-ups. I'm gonna go with that because it looks like a V. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna do 30 seconds of that. Some people can do these without assistance of their hands. I cannot yet. So I use my arms to help me get up, but I can still feel that tension in my abs. It's great. And we're gonna rest for 30 seconds. Try not to die, you know, cause it's hot outside, but it's still beautiful. I'd like to think this golf course is all grassy, but it's not. And then we're going to move right into these skier things after I try not to fall off my jump rope. Uh, these are, I believe these are skiing mechanisms. I don't know. I did these in high school in one of my classes, my PE classes. Uh, that was a hard class, but I made it through it for one semester and that's all that matters. So that's where I got these from and they are great. They work your legs and they they help me with my agility because I'm not very good with agility. So I'm working on it. 30 seconds of that. And then we're gonna move right into these oblique things. I don't know what they are. 30 seconds of these though. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Don't let your foot or your arm touch the ground so we can keep that tension. Tension is key, for me at least, when I am doing any ab workout. It helps keep that burn in my abs, which is what I'm looking for, because I could never keep that before. It was hard. So, after we get done doing 30 seconds of that, we are going to do 30 seconds. Oh, we're going to rest for a minute, I think. Yeah, we're resting. After you guys rest, drink some water take a small break don't do anything crazy let your heart rate go down just a smidge don't let it go down too much because that's not good and then I gotta fix my sock because I'm really picky and these are the only socks I like to wear but they don't work when I work out it's just if you guys know of any good workout socks let me know because it's just a struggle anyways we're going to move on to 30 seconds of jumping lunges. These are really important with your form. My form is almost there. I should keep my upper body straight though. So you want your upper body straight, opposite arm, opposite leg, and just jumping lunges. If you can't do this jumping, if you can't do any of these jumping movements, it's okay. Just do a light, just do it in a, like a little bit of faster, but lighter form. There's always modifications to any type of workout I promise after we do 30 seconds of that jumping lunge we are going to do these plank into a I don't know I'm sorry I'm not good with names we're gonna do 30 seconds of this you'll feel it again keep your core tight keep your body level as level as possible and these are I love these these just get me feeling like I'm see I'm dead. I'm just kidding. I'm not dead. We're gonna do some more. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm 
Remember to take a 30 second rest between all these workouts. I'm looking at the sunset and enjoying the nice cool air. 30 second rest and then we're gonna move straight into, I don't, oh, here we go. This is, this is a mess. I think what they called these A skips when I was playing softball, I don't know, or high knees. I don't know, one of the two. I think they're high knees. But I like to jump around when I do hit. Keeps my heart rate going. That's why the, all these are jumping movements. I love it. 30 seconds of those high knee A skips. And then 30 seconds of these little ab thingies. With these, it's kind of hard for me to feel them. Keep your core tight, back flat on the ground and just move back and forth to touch the heels of your feet. I like these, they help me burn, and that's all that matters. 30 seconds of that, and then a 30 second rest, and then we're gonna move right into these, just these jumping, we're jumping over my jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, use a stick. If you don't have a stick, use your imagination, because we all have imaginations. They're beautiful. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of these. I feel like when I was doing this, I felt like I was jumping to the sky. And then I'm watching it and I'm like, I'm, I'm not jumping to the sky. But that's okay again, I am not a jaguar. I am a human. <laughs> After 30 seconds of the high jumps, we're gonna move into a side plank. Did 15 seconds on each side. These are fun. I can never do these before either, so I like that I can do them now. Makes me feel like I'm superwoman, which is fantastic. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna switch to the other side. I keep my arm up in the air just for some more balance I feel like it helps with. Could just be in my head. And then if you guys wanna get crazy, you can do little dippy things. So right here, we're gonna just start dipping. One, two, three, four, five. I like to dip when I do these. It, it makes me love them more. But if you can't do a side plank, that's okay. Just do a regular plank. Because there's always modifications, guys. Now we're gonna move into um, these little, I'm, I'm gonna end up jumping over the mat. Just for my last circuit, I wanted this to be a total of 15 minutes after I repeat this circuit. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of these jumps. And then we're gonna move into 30 seconds of an ab workout. Now if you guys are tired at this point, like I was, that's okay. I was exhausted. See? but I wanted to get my full 30 seconds in. So there I go, finishing it out. Cause that's what we are here to do. We are here to try and we are here to finish. After this one, we're gonna do 30 seconds of these. Like I found these on Whitney Simmons channel. I love her around the world V up doohickeys. 30 seconds of that. Um, if you guys like what you see, like and subscribe. And thank you all so, so, so very much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you so much.